to The Drummer and the Great Mountain, a podcast where we share effective tips and practices for working with adult ADD, ADHD in a natural, effective way without the use of medications. Each episode, join me, your host, Batman Saram, along with the author of The Drummer and the Great Mountain, Michael Joseph Ferguson. Join Michael and myself in an interactive discussion of sharing our stories as we journey together in transforming what can be the gift of being what we call hunter types. This podcast is intended to be your audio companion to the book written by Michael, who joins me each episode where we both will strive to foster dialogue, give you our personal insights, and share both of our experiences on this similar path that we are all on. Our intention and hope is that along with the book, this podcast gives you an additional perspective as you listen to us delve deeper into each chapter of the book to give you even more tools to go along with what it is that you are reading. Visit us at drummerandthegreatmountain.com to purchase the book and look for more tools, tips, and updates, as well as giving us feedback on this podcast. Join our growing global community of creative types, entrepreneurs, and out-of-the-box thinkers on our shared journey. Welcome to the Drummer in the Great Mountain podcast. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Michael Joseph Ferguson. How are you all doing? In today's episode, we will be starting a series on task management. How do we, wired the way we're wired, approach task management? And what I found for myself over time is that the traditional systems in software and ways of approaching task management do not work well for us. And so in today's episode, we're going to be starting with the first step on that journey, which is thinking in terms of categories, projects, and action items. So just one quick note, many of you have been asking about this, our next online mind mapping workshop happens March 11th. So if you're interested, go to drummerinthegreatmountain.com forward slash mind map workshop. There's a link in the description, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the episode. Okay, so many of the concepts I'm going to be discussing today are in the free ebook ADHD Time Management. So you can get a free copy of the PDF of this by going to drummerinthegreatmountain.com forward slash episode 96. The link is in the description. So here's the challenge. So most time management and task management systems out there don't work really well for us. And they tend to be overly structured and we try to fit ourselves into those task and time management systems and it just doesn't work and it feels really uncomfortable and frustrating. It also, there's a sense of overwhelm that comes from flooding where we have a lot of ideas in our head. We want to put them together, but when we sit down and plan out our day, it's just like, ah, where do I start? And so we often get overwhelmed as we even think about planning our day. And so we easily go into distraction because we're just like, I don't know what to do. How do I approach task management and planning in such a way that feels comfortable to me and how my brain works. So it took me many years to work this out. But what I discovered was because I and all of us have very hyper creative brains, we have a lot of details to manage. So our task management system needs to be simple. The simpler it is, the more effective it is. If it's really structured and you've got all these different things and ways of doing things, uh, because our brains are already filled with lots of details, it's, it's just overload. It's too hard to like shove these things into little boxes. That's just not how our brain works. So the simpler the approach to task management, the better, because the complexity comes from all the ideas and all the things that we have in our brain. So the simplicity of it actually makes it more effective. And many of us have an overly complicated task management system that may work for a while, but then it falls apart. And it's because the system itself needs to be simple so that the simplicity can hold the complexity of everything else. If you put all your creativity into a task management system and make it hyper creative and I'm doing it this way and this way and it it will fall apart. I can almost guarantee you it will fall apart. And I know many of you are nodding your head saying, yes, I've been through that so many times. You've started on something or you got a plan or they had a certain way of doing things and you were really excited for a little bit. And then 
you just couldn't keep it going. So here are the three basic concepts of the system I've been using for task management for over 15 years. And I found it to be simple, clear, and when I work with clients, it's easily adopted and it tends to feel very comfortable because it's not overly structured. So it, there's three basic components to it. The first one is categories or life categories. The second is projects. And the third is action items. Now, many of these concepts you've heard before, but I'm going to encourage you to, to really take this in and adopt it and think about how do you use this in your daily planning process. So let's start with categories. So these are the big life buckets. Okay, these are the ones that I discuss in, in our workshops. They've been adapted from Sonia Chiquette's brilliant book, Your Heart's Desire. I got it from her and then I adapted them to just be a little more specific, especially for people like us. So there's nine of them. And just about any detail of your life will fit into each of these categories. And the categories that I like are health, work, relationships, finances, home, creative expression, play and travel, that's one category, spirituality and mindfulness, that's another category, and service or volunteering or giving back. So that's nine categories, and pretty much all of life can fit into one of those categories. Now, those are the ones that I like. You might want to pick your own. So these categories, again, are the big life buckets, they're the containers for all of the actions and all the projects that you're going to be working on. So moving on to the second concept, it's projects. So projects, simply put, are buckets for action items. So just about anything can be a project, but all projects will fall underneath one of those life categories that I talked about. So there'll be health projects, work projects, relationship projects, finance projects, home projects, all of those will contain projects, okay? That feels fairly comfortable, right? And so usually, if you really break it down, a project has some goal or goals associated with it. And as we've discussed in the past, replacing the, if goal triggers you, which it often does, that term triggers many of us, think about a goal being, what am I wanting? What am I wanting to accomplish? Okay, so a project will usually have a series of goals connected to it, but don't get too lost in that. Basically, just think a project has a bucket for a series of action items that you need to do. Okay, so again, work has projects, home has projects, creative expression has projects. They are containers for action items. And here's the big takeaway from this episode. If you take away nothing else, take, take this away and really ponder it because this could really help you organize your life better. The big mistake we as hunter types often make is we mistake a project for an action item. So here's an example. So finish doing your taxes. When you write that down at the beginning of the day, that's the action item I need to do. That is not an action item. That is a project. Finishing your taxes is a project. It has a series of very specific actions slash tasks involved in it. Another one, the common example I've, you've probably heard me use before on this, po this podcast, cleaning your house. That's a project. That's not an action item. There's a series of action items connected to that. If you do put do your taxes or clean your house on your action item list without breaking it down, you are almost guaranteed to procrastinate that. So that's the importance of understanding the difference. A project contains action items. It is not an action item. And finally, action items or tasks are the exact steps you need to take to complete a particular project. Okay, it's the specific one. So for example, when you say do taxes, that's the project. When you sit down, you break that down into, okay, one, I sit down and I have to sort through my receipts. That's one action. And you can even split that up into maybe even smaller, smaller buckets, but that's like one action you can take. Another is calling your accountant and scheduling an appointment. That's another action. And you can see that's a different thing than the project. So action items have certain qualities. They're very specific. They can be accomplished in a set period of time, and they're always connected to a project. So once again, the hierarchy is categories or life categories. That's the top level. 
projects are containers for action items and they fall underneath a specific category. And then action items are the very specific steps or tasks you need to do to complete the given project. Okay, so what's the next step? How do you utilize these concepts and put them into practice in terms of planning your day, planning projects? Uh, what I would recommend is downloading that free ebook, ADHD Time Management. Go to the section called Five Step Daily Planning Using Mind Maps. And you, that is the simplest method I have found to sit down and plan out my day. And it utilizes all of those concepts and carries them all the way through from the top bucket of life category all the way down into action items and actually looking at what's doable, what's actionable today within the confines of the time I have. And so it's easy to get caught up in, well, I don't have time in the morning to plan my day, or I don't have time the night before to plan my day. The reality is if you don't take 10 minutes out, and that's all, it doesn't have to take much longer than 10 minutes to plan your day. Either you do it the night before, you do it the morning of. If you don't take the time to do it, your day is not going to go the way you want it to go. But what I found is this five-step process is the simplest way I can sit down plan my day, map it out, and move on without getting too caught up in all of the details. So a couple of notes on mind mapping. We have our mind mapping workshop coming up on March 11th. This is our third. And the reason why we're doing it is so many people have requested it. So I've been doing mind mapping for over 25 years. It totally transformed my productivity. Everything I do, including mapping out this podcast episode, I did using mind mapping. I mind mapped out the book. I planned my day. I scheduled my work three months out. So I will say, you know, every quarter I plan the next quarter. And it's all from mind mapping. If I didn't have mind mapping, there's no way I could do it. it I really was fairly dysfunctional until I found mind mapping. So it's an essential part of my daily workflow. I've taught it for many years now, and I've watched it transform both individuals, but also teams in upping their game. And it's very, very ADHD friendly. It's the most ADHD friendly tool I found. And so I would say it's the number one tool for managing ADHD time management and planning. It's There's no other tool that I found that even comes close. So in the workshop, I'm going to teach you the basics, both mind mapping on paper, but also mind mapping using software. And we've developed from open source software our own platform, our own mind mapping platform that we're going to give you free access to. So you're never going to be charged for it. It's completely free. So we're going to be talking about planning your day, mapping out projects, breaking down overwhelming tasks, business planning, essay and report writing. It's a super useful workshop. I highly recommend if you haven't taken it, join us. You can go to drummerinthegreatmountain.com forward slash mind map workshop to get more information. Okay, before we wrap up, I have one personal request. And this is going out especially to those of you who've been listening for a long time. So one of my goals when I did my life visioning at the beginning of this year was to expand the reach of our work. So one thing that would be so helpful for us, if you've bought the book, The Drummer in the Great Mountain, either from our website or or from Amazon, and you've gotten something out of it, it's been helpful to you, consider going to Amazon and writing a short review. Because in doing so, that puts it much higher on the list of recommendations in Amazon, and it gets it to more people. I took the review link, so you can just click on the link. It'll be in the description. Just click on that link, and just even if it's just like a five-word review, um, that really helps us. It helps us get to people that wouldn't necessarily see the book because the book doesn't start with adult ADHD and that's what people look for. It's a little more nuanced than that. And so having more reviews really helps get it to a wider audience. So if you feel moved, thank you so much. And I just want to thank all of you who've stuck around, especially those, there's many of you I know that I, I see you in a lot of our workshops. You've been with us since when we first started this podcast in 2016. So thank you all so much. We got a lot of cool stuff planned this year, and I'm really looking forward to connecting with you all. So I hope that was helpful. And until next time, be well. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to learn more about the book, The Drummer and the Great Mountain, visit drummerandthegreatmountain.com. 
To join us on social media, click the links at the top of the homepage. Help us spread the word. We're a small press and reviews really help. If you've been enjoying the podcast or the book, consider writing a review on iTunes, Amazon, Goodreads or your podcast app. If you're new to the podcast and want to quickly get up to speed on the concepts we discuss, check out our free five-day mini course. Visit drummerandthegreatmountain.com forward slash mini course. If there's a topic you'd like us to cover on future episodes, we'd love to hear from you. Please send us an email at info at drummerandthegreatmountain.com.